When I was growing up in Ireland, one of the favorite programs that I watched was Judge Judy. Oh, I just loved the way that she commanded that room. I loved the way she cut out all that nonsense. Problem is, in our lives, we can be a little Judge Judy as well. We can be very judgmental, and it's not helpful. Today, we're going to explore how can I be less judgmental. The problem with being judgmental is once we go down that road and we start on those negative comments and judging others, it lends a spiral downward and downward and downward. Today I want to give you four steps to help you become less judgmental, more positive. Stay tuned because I think two or three of those steps might just well surprise you. So let's explore four ways in which we can become less judgmental. The first way really is through self-awareness. And what I mean by self-awareness here is to be able to catch ourselves in the process of our own judgmentalism and also to explore with a little bit of depth what's exactly happening within me and why am I saying the things I say. You know, very often when we are judgmental of others, we're actually projecting something within us on others. Let me give you an example. I've caught myself many times whenever I see a person in the distance or walking past me who perhaps is a little overweight and I will find myself saying some judgmental things about them. Well, in reality, I'm really talking to myself because I struggle with my weight and I've always struggled with my weight throughout my life and it's just a way of me projecting some of the things that I'm unhappy with on other people. So becoming self-aware really helps us catch ourselves in the moment so that we can really explore, why did I say what I just said? What's happening within me? Why do I feel the need to say that? You know, sometimes we say things because it makes us feel better. But in many ways, what we're doing is that we are failing to reflect on some issues that we really need to deal with within. So the first way is a little bit of self-awareness and catching ourselves in the moment just when we're about to judge another person. The second way that we can become less judgmental is through this wonderful skill of being curious. You know, the more curious we are, the more our ability to really enter into what's happening with another person. No, the curiosity leads to the empathy. And empathy is all about putting yourself in another person's shoe. So when you see another person and you find yourself just about to make a judgment about them, to say something critical about them, then what I always say is become curious about that person. Ask some questions. You know, when I grew up in Ireland, my mother had this wonderful expression. She used to say, there go I, but for the grace of God. And what she meant by that was, you know, other people's misfortunes can lead to us perhaps being critical of them, but we have no right at times to judge other people because we have not walked their shoes. That we've been blessed in our lives, that at times in our lives, we've had luck that other people have not. And so therefore at moments like these, what's really important is just to be curious, to ask some deeper questions, to be curious about, you know, I wonder how they got that way. I wonder how they arrived at that situation. Maybe there are things which I just don't know. Maybe there are aspects of their story or their history that I'm just not aware of. And maybe I should just be grateful for the blessings I have and then also, instead of wanting to be judgmental off them, to offer them a prayer or a positive affirmation. The third way is a combination of compassion and gratitude. You see, it's very hard to be judgmental when we are focused on things for which we are grateful for. You know, gratitude just has this amazing ability to refocus us to turn away from the things that we're not satisfied with and to truly focus on the things for which we are grateful for. And that combined with a more compassionate heart, that this ability to really show compassion in the moment can really help us turn away from some of our more judgmental moments. Now a test for this could be perhaps if you're in company and then all of a sudden you're listening to some gossip that a person is saying about another person. You know, a way of diverting this is to think about something that you are thankful for 
with this person or perhaps show a little compassion towards that person. All of this really needs to be tested in action. And we can find ourselves in situations where the easiest thing is to go with the flow and to become ourselves even more judgmental. So the next time you feel the urge to judge someone, rather change that urge into a desire to be grateful for something in your life. The fourth way is to look at your circle of acquaintances. Because there's one thing we know, that the more diverse the people that we know, and I'm talking here about diversity in all its many different aspects, but the more diverse the group of friends we have around us, then the more likely we are to have different opinions, we're likely to see different ways of doing things, we're likely to hear about different cultures. All of that is in incredibly important in helping us become less judgmental because you know at times our judgmentalism can come from a lack of awareness and therefore the more aware we become of other people of other approaches of other ways of doing things we begin to appreciate that our way is not the only way so look at your circle of friends ask how diverse is it is there other people I could invite into that circle? Because it will help us become less judgmental. You know, we live in a country which over the last two years just seems to have become so divided. And the temptation is that we only hang out with people who agree with us and who think like us. And to the extent that we do that, then the step to be judging of the people who are not like us becomes even more tempting. So look at your circle and ask, who could I invite into that circle that might expand my knowledge and my appreciation for difference? Oh, there are days in our lives when it is so easy to be the judge to bang the gavel. And yet the problem with that is that repeated time and time again, it just leads to a level of pessimism which detracts from our ultimate happiness. Hopefully today you've got some suggestions on how you might become less judgmental in your life. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, I invite you to explore another episode which looks at how we can become more self-aware in our lives, which is a key element to becoming less judgmental.